All right, we're back. It's been too long. Too long. Too long, my friends. Yes. I have triumphantly returned from my vacation. I'm back. I'm here again. Let's get started, shall we? What is going on? We are about to finish this monstrosity that we've been working on for several streams now. It is our suspension bridge. Gordius has been uh, working on the columns here while we've been off camera. So uh, yeah, we got a bit to go, but we're, we're closing in on the end. So uh, yeah, hope everybody's doing good today. Thank you everybody for uh, joining us today, if you are watching indeed. All three of you, wherever you are. Let's go ahead and unmute Ordeath now. I'm tired of talking to myself. <laughs> oh man. So like, so we're we're fast approaching the. Uh, we're fast approaching the uh, the, uh, the what, what, what what was I gonna say uh, the. The, the the 100th episode we're we're about we're almost this episode 75 we only have 25 episodes left in this season this long season I didn't think it, I honestly didn't think we'd be doing it this long to be honest with you I didn't I didn't think we'd be streaming this often but here we are whole year and some change later so what does it mean at the end of this season what's gonna happen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue building things on this server but but we're actually working on a new map that everybody is going to be able to play on and we're gonna move all of our builds to that new map using world edit and uh, I'm building it right now in World Painter, and uh, I'm thinking that starting Saturday, starting Saturday, I'm actually going to do a stream where we're just going to, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing on the map, and I don't know, just kind of a behind the scenes kind of stream. Probably not very exciting, but it's necessary to show the progress that we're making. So basically, I'm going to show you uh, the world in World Painter, where everything is going to go, and we're going to work on it a little bit in World Painter on Saturday. So that'll be that'll be kind of cool if you are into that sort of thing, and you want a little, you know, you know, want a little bit of a a tutorial on World Painter. You no, know, because I don't think I went in depth with it last time. I did like one episode, and I figure, you know, maybe I can do a couple episodes. You know, and you know, you can watch us build this world. You know, we can we can do all, we'll all do that together. The team. You can learn all of uh, Modesh's secrets. All of my secrets, Lots every of one of them. Let him show you the world in his eyes. <laughs> so, like, a couple of the major changes that are going to be happening on the new map is the the, the new map is huge, like. Like, it, it's it's about, I want to say 1,600, 1,500 blocks from the mountains way over there that you can't see to the mountains way over there that you can't see. I mean, you can see part of the burbs at the foot of those mountains. Well, maybe about 1,200, 1,500 blocks. Something like that. The new map is double that in the, in the, in the main valley where the city's going to be. And then there's a whole other valley that we're basically going to be building into. So, on top of that, everybody's going to get their own own continent, own little island that's equally huge. And they're going to be able to do whatever they want in those islands. And we're going to build like freeways and causeways between them, as well of our as well as our uh, te teleportation system. Everything that you love about this map, spawn, the spawn base, the skyscrapers, Gardena, Tanky, Gayar Higgins, it's all still going to be there. It's going to be a little different. 
little bigger so we have more room to grow, more room to make more stuff, more room to expand. Really make this a map that is just totally awesome. And the good news is, the cool thing is, hopefully, if all goes well, all goes well, we may be able to open that map up pub publicly as an adventure map. So y'all can join, and then uh, we're going to actually make a free play server map too. So you'll be able to join and then go to the free play map and just, you know, play on that and build on that. But this map will kind of be a hub of sorts that you'll get to explore, interact with. It's kind of a, you know, kind of like a lobby almost. Is you, you know, make your way to the other map. Anyway, enough talk about maps. Let's get building. So what we're doing now is we're going to be instructing these extra pylons all the way up to that bridge over there. Oh, hey, Regen, thank you for the $5 dono, my friend. Always a pleasure seeing you in my streams. Regardless of which channel I'm on, always good to see you, sir. Pull up the chat. I don't think I have... I think... Hey, Neon. Didn't see the chat. Just pulled it up. Nash Dash 2. Hey, how you doing, man? All right, I didn't see the chat. I uh, I was kind of uh, distracted. Distracted about talking about World Painter. All the cool things that we're going to be doing. Yes. Yes. All the Malort shots. There will be plenty of Malort on the new server as well. So, what we're doing here... It's just, you know, building the underside of the freeway. We're gonna add lighting at some point, too. And so the, the goal today is to build the pylons all the way up to that support structure over there. Build all the underside of the freeway and then also build the cabling for the bridge. Oh, yeah, web design's a good field to get into. It also has its fair share of challenges. So, those of you who haven't seen the bridge yet, here is the bridge so far. The big support towers. It is absolutely massive. You can actually go up there, too. Go up there, there's a stairwell. I mean, hopefully you're not, you know, agoraphobic. Not agoraphobic, acrophobic, that's the word, acrophobic, acrophobia, the fear of high places. And this is pretty high up. <laughs> So that is one of the bridge. That is that bridge is also going to get moved to the new server as well. What are you doing to your mic, sir? Oh yeah, dude, like, getting certi certified is good enough, honestly. Just showing that you can do the work is all they really care about. I should know, I've been doing it for 20 years. Alright, so... Although, how much does a certificate of being able to web design really count these days? Alright, uh, it... 
It makes it, it gets him to take you a little more seriously. That's about it. I'm getting tired of uh, doing this manually. <laughs> Time to unleash the power. Because I have help desk certs, but I've never bothered to get certified for like any sort of web graphic design. Although, you know, I can only show people portfolios, so. Pretty much what you gotta do. You gotta show them portfolios and stuff. What I'm gonna do. I'm just going to stack these. Actually, you know what? No, no, hey. I think I got it. So, oh wait, that's right. These go out a little bit. Alright, so, I guess I'll just stack these. That'll make things go a little bit better. I mean, I'm not going to discourage people from going to college, but for me, it was a huge money hole. Yes, yes. Yes, it's, I too am certifiable. We all knew that though, I mean. Yeah. Like, what do I do? Oh, I play block games and DJ and do websites. And you hang out with other lunatics on the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, that is actually... Wait. Okay, no, that's that's right. So these are going to be... These are going to be wait, the one... No. This is too far. Yeah. This should be steady. Yeah, so I'm just going to duplicate those. But you guys probably want to see what I'm actually doing here. Where's my splash potion? Well, that one's right, but these are... There we go. That's what I want. Oh, you got your night vision on? Yeah, I got my night vision on so I can actually see what I'm doing under here. <laughs> hey, ZX, how you doing? Thank you for the like. Much appreciated. <laughs> like, hi, yeah, bye. Here, I think you're really good at what you do. Well, thank you. Know, you. you do a lot of us do a lot of new music. Well, thank you. And the block game shit is somewhat entertaining. <laughs> Hey, that's a bona. F that is a bona fide op occupation. Look how many streamers there are. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to make it a successful. I actually lost. It's funny you mention DVDs, Regen. I have no idea where my DVDs are. No idea where they went. I think I lost them during the move. I moved he, I moved to this part of town about three years ago and I have not been able to find my DVDs since. Ouch. I, I suspect I know where they are, but I'm thinking maybe I was looking in the wrong box or something. I don't know. I, we, we've got so much shit in storage right now. Both me and Synth Dolly. We have we share a storage unit, so we have so much crap in there, we don't know... <laughs> I don't know where everything is. Fortunately though, our living space is about to expand a little bit, so hopefully... I will find those things. I can rejoice in not having an onboard DVD player. Because I swapped out my extra drive 
I swapped out my optical drive on this machine for an extra uh, hard drive caddy. So I'm actually running two drives on this thing. Awesome. This is, comes in handy when you're editing video or, you know, DJing and you have a whole bunch of media that you need to play. And you can't schlep around your external drives everywhere. Well, it's a lot easier to have an external optical drive. Than yeah. External hard drive. Oh, I kept my ex I kept my drive. I just need to get a housing for it. Not like right. I, not like I ditched it or threw it away or anything. I still got it. I, just, I just gotta put a house, get a housing for it. It might be easier to just spend twenty bucks and get a already, you know, already externalized optical drive. And we got we got good convo going right now. Look at like, like just look at the screen. <laughs> this is blowing up. We got some deep thoughts in the chat today. Deep thoughts. No, oh, absolutely. But this is the one advantage of having a mature audience. The what? You know, a mature audience as opposed to like the oh. you know, like the thirteen year old Minecraft crowd. Oh, yeah. You know, they think they're edgy by uh, spamming uh, racist remarks or something stupid or like swastikas that. Swastikas or some, something dumb. Yeah. I got one of them playing Hearthstone a couple days ago. Oh, nice. He was upset that I beat him, and so he sent me a friend request afterwards so he could talk to me. Uh huh. And then, and then repeatedly called me the N word. Oh my god. And I'm just like, uh, dude, you gotta be able to do a little bit better in the insult than, than that. I mean, you're not gonna hurt me hurt me by calling my feelings when you're making uh, a racist remark that doesn't describe my skin color. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, like, Cracker would be more effective. Like, <laughs> for real. Like, come on, if you're gonna use slurs, at least use the right ones. Well, the thing is, like, I mean, unless someone actually knows you, you know, or, or they have a profile picture that they think might actually be you, you know, you don't, you don't know truly, really, anyone's gender or ethnicity on, ethnicity, ethnicity, wow, I can't talk, on the internet. No, you don't. You know, I mean, really, it all be pretending to be something else. Oh, absolutely. And I, I am. I am actually. I am actually three alpacas. <laughs> in a trench coat. In a trench coat. I suspected that was why the uh, wandering trader liked you so much. You know, his llamas were drawn to you. They're on to me. At last, you learn know my terrible secret. I'm checking to see if I did this right. Okay, no, I did not do that. Absolutely did not do that. <laughs> so, what we're doing here, these are like the supports, and we're just gonna put pylons in once we've done all the supports. I figured that would be a lot easier to do. You know, I really should start. Oh, doing really, dude? Though. That sucks, man. Replace. People shouldn't be doing that to you. I don't get it. I really don't. Like, why would you even want to call people that? Like, I don't understand it. It's like, why would you even want to be that big of a jerk? Because they can a lot of times. Is what I think it boils down to. Yeah, I think I don't have time for that crap. That and I'm just not a jerk. I try not to be anyway. I can be, but I try not to be one. And that's that's the difference. Although I do have no tact. There we go. 
shouldn't be doing that a while ago. Oh, I probably God. described what hot sauce does to my insides and my butthole in less than appropriate situation. But alas, that's part of my charm, so... Oh, well, yeah, dude, that sucks, man. I'm glad, well, I'm glad it haven't, hasn't happened a lot lately. It's depressing that there's still people out there that are pathetic enough that they would use, you know, those terms. Oh, yeah. Remember when I played on Anarchy server? I mean, it's like a tradition to put swastikas everywhere, but... I like to I like to blow them up and I like to you know lava cast them because it's fun. Okay, so I didn't go out far enough with those things. Yeah, you didn't. And that's looking pretty good. I like that. Right, speak of speaking of. Speaking of uh, the wandering trader, what do you got for me? Nothing of any value, probably. It's all crap. What is this? What, are you try what is this? You know what? I got something for you, buddy. I got something. Just for you. That's, that's right, there you go. <laughs> I mean, usually the only useful thing that he has is either blue ice, which can be hard to come by, or maybe some of the trees. You know, if you don't have the biomes for them near you. Yeah, I can see that. And that's true. In the next version, uh, He finally gives you some items that you can't easily get in the game. Man, that's uh that's some that's some rough that is rough, Regen. Dude, that is rough. I hate that that happened to you. Yeah, I don't understand that I do don't understand I don't understand the hatred. I don't oh, get it. Oh my Wow. But what'd you do? Uh, I was looking at uh Bilker's comment. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty uh, pretty rough. That's that's pathetic though. When when you know when someone tells you a give you a polite rejection, and then you you re respond in that kind of fashion. I'm thinking of trying something different with these. Uh... Let me pull up the map. Not the map. Let me pull up the example. Let's see here. Is that? Yep. Yeah, we're going. We're going back to Google Maps. Going back to Google Maps. That's right. Give me. Give me one second here, so I can pull this up. Just one second. If you're doing builds on face. Uh, bleh, if you're doing builds on Minecraft. Google Maps is a great tool if you're trying to build a city. Yeah. Because you can pull up pretty much any landmark and you can kind of like just go around it at different angles. Like, so like we've been modeling this one after the Oakland Bay Bridge. And uh, to kind of show you what's going on here. I just been kind of dropping my little dude here to try to get like different views of the bridge and its parts. So so here we're starting to see these kind of pylons. You know, and get different views of them. So I'm thinking maybe we could do like a pylon sort of like this. Like two of them. Cuz that's the direction of the bridge itself, I think. And then, yeah, and then this is where the pylons start.
So it's a raised freeway. They, yeah, and they're okay. So there's that. Let me go over here. Go up on top of this hill here. And look at the. Let me look at the uh, way that this is set up for that. So. Ah, I went a little too far. Okay, so that is a that is a that is a that is a pylon for a ramp. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, Unicode. Okay, so here's what I'm kind of what I'm talking about. Do you have these like structures here for like ramps and stuff? I'm just kind of getting different ideas for different types of pylons. So, like, this is the kind of one I'm thinking, like, we should do for for this setup. So it's kind of like this. I know why it's built this way. Because there's, like, double-decker traffic on this. But I think that might be cool to try something like that. Might be cool to try something like that. So, let me re- let me re-splash myself here. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. I've got I've got all kinds of other weird ones too that we can use. We have this side here, which I'm gonna redecorate. Yeah, we need to fix where this pylon is here a little bit. I don't know whether I need to push it up. One would be the solution or not. Which one? See the one I have the torch on the corner here? Yeah. Should I push that up one? Yeah, push it up. Yeah, push these pylons up one. And then just, you know, make them longer. Yeah, push all of these up one. Well, the last one is, I think. Or no, it isn't, is it? Yeah, they're all... I think they're all, like... So, like, yeah, so I'll move those up one. Move them all up one. Just to extend the bottoms more. Or you could do it from the top so that these lights are level. Uh, I'm going to move the lights down, I think, is the solution. All right. Because I wasn't thinking about that when I copied the last one. I kind of like this uh, concrete bottom here. I'm kind of digging that a little bit. Kind of makes it look like a storage area almost. Like I said, everything that we build here is going to eventually get moved to the new server. Oh, okay. I mean, fine. Well, that's what happens when uh, you stack two down. Yeah, that's fine though. Well, you can do minus A and it ignores air. Good point. What I'm gonna do is. Uh, do you want to do your um, your usual grass fill back in there? Well, I'm gonna do better than that. Make this like a little under underbridge storage area. Why not extend it? Why not? You see these a lot in cities. These like under 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 the under the uh, freeway storage places. Why not expand that? Why not make one of those? Grass. Grass block. Grass. Half. Stone. There we go. We'll throw a little bit of
so that fixes the life. Throw a little extra stonage around. So that kind of like adds a little depth, a little bit of realism to it. Yeah, try learning. Yeah, definitely learn the CSS because that's going to come very handy. CSS, PHP, JavaScript. Looking good. Like it. Like it. Then what you do, I think I got one like, like this over here somewhere. Let me go back over to these pylons here and see what I did. Alright, so I just went straight up and did the iron bars there. So that's what I'm going to do over here. I'm going to do some iron bars here. We have uh, 1.17. Uh, we really need to build the Statue of Liberty. Oh yeah. Since we have copper. Oh yeah. Or or the Statue of Escheron. Sure. Build a big big build a big copper statue. First step of the burns and cross. So, Neon, the, the ones that I was recommending to you, um, you want to do HTML5 and CSS for your presentation. Uh, PHP for any sort of backend automation, you know, like for generating your pages. And then uh, JavaScript for anything that you want to be interactive on the user end. There we go. Uh, I think that looks good. And then it also wouldn't hurt to know a database like MySQL or Postgre or, but probably MySQL. All right. Would be the best one to know. Right now down. we just gotta we gotta just. Uh... So now I'm going to fix the lights finally and have them at the right level. Uh, end cell? Alright. That'll work. Don't stack them yet. Don't stack them yet? Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm thinking that'll be the last pylon that's that high. Next one, we'll make like we'll make two more. We'll make one here. We'll make one. Well, yeah, we'll make three more. We'll make one there, one there, and one there. And these will be like ones that are getting tall, like progressively taller. Or I don't know. Maybe we can get away with just doing the one. Right there. Or maybe just two. Man, I'm really looking forward to having the new light blocks. It's gonna make lighting things up so much easier. Like, for real.
Uh, I'm figuring you're going to at least probably put two or three more pylons in there. Yeah, probably. But I don't think they're going to be like these pylons. You're not gonna. You're not gonna keep the same. Yeah, they're getting taller, so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do something that's like, or like the pylons on that structure over there. Okay. Something that's like a cross beam on top of like two pylons or something like that. Are you going to do something similar in the sand here, or no? Oh, way at the, way at the end? Uh, I don't know, maybe. No, I mean before the first set of uh, crosses. Yeah, probably. I'll probably do one. Maybe. Yeah, I think maybe do like one here. Is you have four sections until the bridge cross, and then you have three sections over here before the bridge beginning or whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking maybe I'm like I don't know, go the pylon here, maybe maybe one here. One in the middle here. Middle might actually work better. Let's try that. I'm thinking like building the pylons like this. Stacking them down. Let's see. Build that one there. We're just gonna stack these downward. I'd make it m wider than than just those four blocks. Maybe six. Because on the existing pylons, you're doing three across, or I mean two across. No, three across under the bottom. Those are five by three. So maybe do six by three if you're going to do them either side. Yeah, but they're not going to be the same. Oh, okay, I see what you're getting at. That's what I'm saying, like making some bigger where you're only having two, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm gonna try these, I'm gonna try the four by three. That works, that looks good. Stack, 12 down, minus A, almost. Gotta, gotta really drive them into the ground. There we go. <laughs> and the structure like, across. That's a little. That's a little better. Um, maybe do them the same way this is. 
I don't know. Let me see here. Got here. Got that. Take a look at this side when I finish it. Got that. Maybe do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might work. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about putting maybe a wall down the side. So it's not... 100% rectangular. Yeah, maybe. That might work. Kind of walls I've got. This thing is huge. It is absolutely huge. This is looking pretty good. That is looking really good. I might have, we might have a pedestrian crossing. I'm not sure if we're gonna have one or not. Um, Usually an overpass you wouldn't. Yeah, because this is like a really, really, really long bridge. Um, what do you think of the um, side there that I decorated a little bit more? Let me take a look. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. work. I think it looks pretty good. We could do something similar over here. Copy this. There we go. I'm just gonna grab that just like that I'm gonna go over here that looks that should look good right there oh yeah Nice. Now we just gotta finish these uh, structures underneath here. Copy. 
copy. We want to do stack for SA. I kind of want to do the same thing down here at the bottom. You want to do something like this on the sides. Ooh, that might work. And then fill the middle with a solid block. Yeah, that could work. He's just gonna make it look a little more braced. Two, two north. want those. Move those. That is looking good. So this in. Oh, you got that? Okay. All right, now we're getting like super focused in on this. <laughs> I'm just like zeroing in on this. Like, ooh, I get this done. We actually, we're actually gonna get, we're actually gonna get the main part of the bridge done today. That's gonna be awesome. I'm always bad at getting the direction on stairs wrong, though. Yeah, I'm not much better. Because it doesn't really make sense the way that um, it does the facing on them. Oh man, that's like perfect. They're like connected right to the bracing. Almost. <laughs> okay, yeah, this has to be. Oh, you, yeah, you kind of cut one off, it looks like. Yeah. Or was it in the middle? You, yeah, you cut one off. Oh well, I mean, that's pretty easy to fix. Yeah, pretty much. That's definitely a bracing right there. Oh yeah. I like that. We can copy the same brace design underneath the bridge, too. Grab that side. I'll grab it bottom as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I want to start this thing. It might be easier to grab it in pieces. Like you grab the the whole beam across. 
Yeah, it might be. It might be, but it's not going to line up with the dashes. But, you know, we can always do the dashes again. True. What, what I was thinking about doing, basically, was if we grab it at this height, right here, where the bottom of the beam is, to the ground. We can do this. Here, I'll show you what I'm thinking. I think I know what you're talking about. And then if I copy it right in the middle, under the bottom. You want to put it after the second one, right? So that's like basically like in the right, middle. Right about here. Yeah. But that one should be... And obviously, we're going to have to redo some parts of it, but that's fine. Oh, right, right. I see what's throwing me off. Yeah, you want it in the middle right there. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, that works. Hey, look uh, at the I think that I'm no. one off. Or what? I think that I might be one off. Uh, yeah, move it over. T move it to the north by two. Based on the other one, it's one. All right, that works too. You've returned from the dead. Although from the side, it looks like you're right that it should be too. Once we get that pillar, once we get that column in, just have to finish this underside. And then we can start doing the cabling. I'm gonna go ahead and get my positioning right here. Yeah, so. So, right here's the middle. That's the middle, that's the middle, and that's the middle. Stack that. But yeah, so we do want to move the other one one north. Stack that. Let's stack this like. 12 more. I'm gonna overshoot it, but that's fine. Because I'm gonna do this. Boom. Then we can just connect this. That. This. Bye bye. This can go bye bye. That in there either. I think we do. That's only for the bridge side. Oh no, no no worries man. Experience all the block game fun. Even while you work. Alright, so 
Uh, I'm gonna try to stack this, actually. That might actually be faster if I do that. Stack this part. Ah! Oh, it looks like it looks like garbage. They're terrible. No. <laughs> you broke it. Oh, but it's doing this weird like it's doing this weird alternating pattern thing, which is annoying. I didn't tell it to do that, and it's doing it anyway. So I've got to basically stack it like that. Over here, do the same thing on this side. Actually, yeah, that should be... Should be that. Yeah, that looks about right. I think. Yeah, that looks about correct. All right. All right, so did you get this moved? Yeah, they're both. I get rid of the floating torches. I gotta drive these pillars into the ground. Those pillars are in the ground. And I'm gonna stack. I'm actually gonna shave this top part off. Duplicate this here. All right. What am I doing? Ah. Try that again. All right, so that's one. At least they're consistent. I can't aim. Looking pretty good so far. Pretty good. The reason I'm gonna have these so low is because the deck is going to, it's going to actually, we're actually going to want to, like, hang the suspension cables off of the deck. But we might actually lower that even more. Continue with the, the, the deck the way it is, because we need a place for the suspension cables to be able to connect to the road deck. I'm gonna have to figure out what my best options are for doing that. Drink some more of my special tea. Oh wow. Eh, Karen. <laughs> the attack of the Karens. The K 
parroting knows no bounds. I'm gonna do here what I'm trying to do here anyway get the parts that are going to be the, the, the braces on the underside looking right that way I can stack them over alright that looks right yeah, I'm basically trying to do the same thing over here. Alright. Back and south. Let's see if this screws up and it did. I don't know why it insists on copying it like that. Yeah, I think there might be a bug with World Edit or something. Because it does not seem to like to stack things that have slabs on it. Like, it really? might. I don't know what it is, but it would, wouldn't would repeat. It kept repeating the, the two by one block instead of like the normal. One by one, uh, one by two, that I wanted it to do. It was really annoying. I'm replacing air, I can do all of that one time. I'm gonna try this. Stack this what? Six? Okay, five. Yes. I'm gonna, stack, I'm gonna stack that. No, four. I'm gonna stack that four cell. That works. This is a huge bridge. Huge. Yeah. Huge. to me. All right. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, that looks real good. Deliberate. Yes, it looks and it looks good. It looks deliberate. Very good. Huge. Now, now we can start with the cables. Hmm. 
So, I'm looking at the bridge right now. I gotta get the whole damn thing to load in. <laughs> and, alright. So, we're gonna basically want to run our cables from that structure over there up to here, bow in the middle, back up, and then for now, that's it, because we don't have another side yet. Mm -hmm. But we can always repeat, always copy, you know, the other side. Eventually, this mountain, this, this top of this hill is going to get sheared off. Matter of fact. Why don't I? There. Hear that off. We'll also hear this off too. Set my position to here. Boom. <laughs> Rabbit just got hurt because he's on top of the hill. I sheared it off. Oh, from fall damage? Yeah. That air. Okay. Let me just break the rest of this. Up. We can put like a rest area here or something. Maybe. Just maybe a park. Like if you have to pull your car over for any reason. No. That might be cool. It does look real, doesn't it? Oh man, yeah, we that's that's what attention to detail gets you. Wait until you see it at night. Oh man, it looks so cool at night. You got a pretty good view of the bridge from over here too. Oh yeah, you do. It does look pretty cool from here. I'm staying there for one second. Oh yeah. That's the bridge so far. Oh man, it looks good. Probably put some torches down. Because you, know, you know the baddies are going to try to spawn here. What I should actually do is just do command box real quick. end up doing Give me a second here got an idea all right 
That lines up. Save another. Shave another layer off. Okay. All right. Now we have this flattened, geared off mountain. Made it light for the under part of the bridge. Get out of here. Get out of here, you hobo. <laughs> All right, so. We actually want to bow this down. So we might need to share off another two layers or three layers. Okay, do you want to go and do that before I put in the, uh, the monster despawner? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. I'm just going to do this. go over here there we go and we can just take all this out too That's all flattened now. this out a little bit falls into the ocean a little less deeply I'm getting tired of this Block getting in my way. all that out.
and just because I want it too round and a little craggy. What are you doing, you may ask? Well, I'm just kind of adding some randomness to this. It may end up damaging the bridge a little bit, but that's fine. We can always clone it. Fine. Damage the bridge a little bit, but who cares? We can always extend that. Not a big deal. <laughs> the peppiness of the music combined with the explosions. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Keep blowing up more of the bridge. <laughs> uh, I'm having too much fun with this. Blow up some more of this. I can just smooth all this out. The smooth tool. Oh, geez. No, that was bad. Nope, don't do that. Bad, bad, bad. There we go. It, it looks like it smoothed parts of the broken bridge into the terrain. Oh, nice. And I gotta re-smooth those parts. Yeah, I did it again. Undo. There we go. Much better. Dude, 
doing that, I'm nearly done with the uh, mob teleporter. It looks good. I can plant grass there or something. Smooth it out, make it look a little better. That out just a inch. There we go. That is how you level a mountain. The reason we have to do that is because the cables have to rest at their anchor points similar position. So the anchor points on this one over here You may actually make this like make another and anchor points on that one are a few back. So what we need to do, we may need to do another tower. They need to do another tower. Hmm. Oh no. I have to think about that. Oh no, let me think here for a second. It might be enough to just get away with doing this side. Let me, let me copy this and see what it does. So, I grab, grab this entire structure about here, about here. Roundabout here. Then I'm gonna go right up between the pylon. Right in the middle. Copy. It's actually closer. I flip that north. And it's actually closer to the other end, so what I'm going to do is get right in the middle, paste this, but it does. Paste it minus the air. Let's see what that does. That actually kind of works. actually kind of works. Yeah, that actually kind of works. And we can actually build out this island here artificially a little bit to encompass this part right here. Then we can just build a regular causeway across to the other side. Totally. Yeah, that'll work. That will totally work. What is what is this about? Jimmy Shorts and Chucks and What are you going on about? So I'm going to build an artificial island here. Compass this whole thing. Just 
start it. <laughs> well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this down about three more. Artificial island part start about right here. And I'll extend it all the way over to about right. First off, I'm gonna build it up right about. So that'll work. Go underwater, as far down as I can go here. You can go under the bridge downtown? Under the bridge. Get out of here because it's going to bury me if I don't. Alright. Okay, let's see if that works better than what I did originally. <laughs> and I just... Killed a whole bunch of sea creatures. Yep, it absolutely does. Where you at? Over here. Oh, you're playing around underwater. to go down the bed uh, to the regular stone underneath. Extend this shoreline. Okay. Build that up. So right about to where I want it to be. Right about here ish underwater that I get as far underground as I can. There we go. This right here, back that down. That's anchored to that. There we go. not dissimilar to what they actually do on the actual Oakland Bridge. 
They have an artificial island that they created in the middle. Not quite as extreme as the way we're doing it, but... It does the trick. It, it gets the job done. That sounds like some bad show on... Uh... I don't know, like TNT or something. What does? Extreme artificial islands. <laughs> Discovery or something like that. Actually, yeah, Discovery might work better. Except it would be more like, learn the secrets of the extreme artificial islands. On this episode of Extreme Artificial Islands. Trying to get trying to get as far inland as I can so when I do this. We'll stack down as far as possible. There we go. We got the ink sack from the murdered, murdered squids. There we go. Yeah. I'm mean, gonna I mean, round those off a little bit. The important thing is I have a place to we have a place to anchor anchor the cables now. Because there have to be two anchor points on each side. Underwater building up, that's all. Underwater piling of the sand. You know what I'm getting at with that. We can take care of all that later. Alright, did you finish the, uh... The despawner machine? Yeah. It's, oh, uh, nice. Very good. Hidden under the, uh, where you flatten the... Top of the island. Very good. With a little trap door in case somebody needs to access it. What I'm gonna do here I'll do something like I'm gonna do something interesting here. Hold on a sec. Let's see. That air Stone to red and I want to set a sand. I want to set it to, uh, hmm. Oh, I want to do replace. That's right. That's set. 
replace airstone red sand. Not what I wanted. Undo. Try this again. There's something specific I'm trying to do here. Little trick. And it'll become apparent why I'm doing this. Just a second. Let's say you can try to turn this into a um, different biome. Nope. That is not what I'm doing. Or are you going to turn the red sand into something else when you're done? Into grass and my grass block pattern. That way, it looks smoothed out. In order to do that, I need to get underwater. Make sure I get all of it. I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna let some of that die into dirt underneath. If that happens, then I'm going to do a replace and turn some of it into path. Make it look more natural, you know what I mean? A lot more deliberate. You know? Later. Some of this I can just change to sand, like this can be sand. All like all of this up here. Like this all can be sand. Just replace, replace. Yeah. That can all be sand. Anywhere it's like on top of sand, I okay. put, I put it, put sand there. Little things like that. That way it doesn't look so artificial. out just a little bit.
That's looking pretty good. <laughs> Mostly people running in the around naked. Alright, so I need to make sure these lines line up. Because remember, I did copy it. It looks like it does. Mm -hmm. looks like it does line up. It looks like it lines up perfectly. Right? Nice. Means I can just pretty much just copy this entire span here. Copy it all the way across. Make it into a bridge. Try 200 north. Right, 230 north. There we go. We can just make that into like a regular causeway bridge. Okay. And of course we'll redo the the pattern. Dashes and stuff. There we go. If we lower it just a lower it just a little bit, the freeway. Well, not even that. We don't even have to lower it because it's already going to be level where the freeway would be. Because this whole this whole landmass is above. That would actually be a really good height for it. Yeah, that would work. Might even be able to raise it a little bit. But that looks good. I think we're almost ready grow the uh, I think we're almost ready to throw the, the cables on what do you think I think so I think now I think after, actually, I think after we put the cables on, I can do my patented blend. They'll let the grass that's underneath die a little bit faster. Mm. And turn into dirt. Yeah, and, yeah, turn into dirt. That way, when I do my replace, I only have to. It'll automatically just target all of the all the grass. I'll probably deal with this side later. This isn't a huge deal over here. Yeah, that looks good. We can put some like palm trees in here on here or something. 
here. It'll look kind of cool. Alright, I think maybe now is a good time to start on the cables. But Minecraft doesn't have a need of palm tree. Yeah, it doesn't. I think our palm trees look better than anything Mojang could make anyway. Probably. Alright, so. We need to get the we need to get we need to get a rough measurement of the distance. What kind of angle we're gonna have to do in order to reach up there. So we need to know we need to know th two things. We need to know the length here. So the length from the, this pillar or this this uh, tower to the anchor point over here. Actually, the anchor point is going to be right here. We're actually going to change this a little bit. Right now, we'll make this the anchor point. The anchor point. Oh yes, yes, actually. I want to make the ink. Yeah, right here is good. Yeah, because we want to make it out. I think we want to make it outside, maybe. Or connect it to the... Just outside of the bridge or something. It's just outside the walkway, maybe. Mm -hmm. We want it, because we want to connect it directly to the center. So yeah, we're gonna have to make it. We're gonna have to make the anchor point just outside the walkway. I'm thinking maybe every every two or three. These actually getting flattened out. Want them as just want them as braces. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and drink some more of this. Wow. What I'm doing here. Alright, so. Because we want this hatched outside brace point. The cross brace is right about here. These actually need to be two. Change. They're not correct. Get rid of this. That's the beginning of the cross brace. Uh, make that the top. Got it set up over here. Okay. All right. I see how he has it set up. So we're going to take that piece right there. Make this the top. Same thing on the other side.
I only want it up to the cross brace peak. So all of this go bye bye. Doing this right. Yep. I'm just gonna change this too, as well. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now we can just copy one side to the other. We have to figure out how we're going to get the, uh, add some flourishes to the top of this. It looked better. So it's more, like, thematically consistent with the rest of the bridge. There go. Alright. Obviously, there's still more work to be done on these anchors, but that's fine. Alright. I'm thinking smooth quartz slab because we can make it look we can make it look like uh cables. Okay. I guess we could start the cables like right here. You could also use the end of site probably. You can always change it. Exactly. So, we need to get measurement. So, here. Okay, what is that? And why? That's negative 114. Negative 116, so about a hundred blocks, 102 blocks. Okay. So about right here. This is about almost the center. It's a little. I think it's a little further from the center. We have to kind of design it so that it kind of starts out. On a smoother grade. Like this or something. And then it kind of just goes up, like, like it's like a parabola. Fortunately, Minecraft is not very good at those. Well, um, technically, if those are cables, they'd be straight lines. Really? That's true, because you want them. <laughs> I mean, they're under tension. That's that is true. Er so oh, I guess we just go up, I guess. How tall are these road decks? 
So they're 102 across. We can do some basic like geometry here. 102 across. Probably not gonna go all the way to the top. They're probably only gonna go about right here. Do you like the angle that you're currently building at? Yeah. Why don't you just continue at that angle and see where it ends up? That's a good idea. Get rid of this HUD here. Don't need that on. Well, although, are you doing are you doing more than one? Like, are you going to connect to this one also? No. So you're you're not going to have a cable going to this one? No. You're standing on. You're just going to do one cable on either side. Yeah, one cable on either side with a little dangly one. So what I'm going to do, take this here on myself. I think this is a whole one, right? There. Yep, that's a whole block. So copy. To the nearest whole one here. That is a whole block. Yep. Good. End it. Yep. Got some of this. Yeah, that looks good. And then you should be able to stand on whichever one you copied from and do it again. Yep. Although I'm probably going to move the cable over one. That way, this the tensioners are going to be on running along the sides. A very steep angle. I was almost thinking that you should um, do two cables, one with a shallower angle and one with a steeper one. That's, but, a, ca that's a cable stayed bridge. That would be a cable stayed bridge. That's where it ends. Mm -hmm. Not quite where I want it to end. Do you want it to be taller? Yeah, I want it higher up. How much higher up? Like, where do you want to start at? I want the cable to go all the way up to that, uh, all the way up to that observation deck. Okay, so you wanted to start like here? Yeah, like right at the, right where this brace is, right here. Right about here, because that looks like the tension point.
So let me try something. Yeah, this is this is turning out pretty good, I think. Now we just gotta get find out where we're putting this damn cable. Yeah, so we're gonna have to find it. We're gonna like have to find angle. Huh? Do you like that angle, or do you want to play with it more? Uh, it needs to connect this. Is this where the anchor point is? Connect this, to the top. So, uh. So, hey, 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 hey! Don't break that yet. The idea was you're gonna measure how much difference we needed. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, let me paste that back. I go for it. That's four, six. So your height, your height is right here. So this 20, it looks like 20, 23 out. Difference looks like about 23. Okay. And before you were doing. It's 102. So it needs to be a third longer, basically. Or, no. Take a look here. This is confusing. All this math. God, oh, it's supposed to be a Minecraft channel, not a math channel. Especially the the angle that you're you have picked may be very hard for Minecraft. Yeah, it might be. Now okay, so okay, okay, okay. So if we do it. If we do it 102 divided by 3, if we do 102 divided by 3, it actually gives us a full, gives us a full number. So let's get rid of these. Because if we do 102 divided by 3, then we, then it gives us a... Uh, 34 segments. Instead of doing groups of two, we do groups of three. So let me get rid of these. Oops. Undo. Can you undo that? Don't get don't get rid of don't get rid of what I'm trying yet. I'm gonna. I guess I'll just build what I want to do on the other well, side. Take, take, take a look at take a look at the angle that I'm trying. Does that look okay to you or no? That might hurt.
That might actually work. Yeah, that looks like it might work. It's hard to tell whether that's going to work or I'm going to overshoot it or not. I mean, it's going to be closer. And what I'm going to start doing actually is... Uh, Feel free to whack the bottom part of what I have. All right. When you're doing that, I'm gonna try something on the other side. Okay. I think I have an idea of, of what to do, because it's... I can get 32 segments, whatever it is. I, I, I mean, I think you might actually be at the right angle what we're wanting to do. This might actually be correct. Did I screw that up when I pasted it? No, I did not. Okay. That did. So it'll give you 32 repeti repetitions of three. So segments of three, 30, or 34 segments of three. The only problem is we don't know what those three by three segments are going to be, but I think you might actually have it. Be Hopefully. I mean, it's looking pretty, pretty accurate to me. It looks like it's gonna make. It looks like it looks like the right angle. The problem I'm having was um, getting hey. pace to continue the way that I was. Going. So what you want to want to do is you actually want to paste it while you're standing on. I think I've, I think I've got it. The problem was I think I should have copied one more. Yeah, you want to stand on a full block when you copy. You don't want to copy from a half block. Yeah, this is this is working. So I'm gonna just continue the rest of the way down with this. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a half slab at the end, standing on it, and then hitting paste. Let me try. Let me try pasting from here. I copied uh, a little bit of it. Get this Actually, what you should probably do is copy more of it. I did. There you go. That looks pretty good. I mean, you got the um, trap doors though, but uh, not a problem. I think, I think we might have it. Might be it. If it falls a little short, that's fine. It's going to be damn close. It's going to be damn close. I think it's right on the money. Copy.
there. Okay. That looks really damn close. Oh, that's exactly where it needs to be. That is perfect. <laughs> that is exactly where it needs to be. Oh, man. Bam. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the bracers for the cables start right there. Yeah, and I can design those later. Wow, that was that was some uh, MVP level Minecraft though. Oh, dude, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Now, every, except for that one right there, every third one. I'm actually going to attach the cable stays side here. What's with the piece of wall here? Was this the only There you go. Got to? Uh, just kill it. one of the anchor points will look like. We actually do it as Anderson. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make this like a different kind. That's where the what the anchor points will look like for every third one. what the bridge anchors will look like. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. It's actually supposed to I think that works. And iron, we can use iron bars. Cable lane. There's something I can use. Try to join. There we go. That way, that won't try to join.
quite annoying when it... Uh, when things don't want to line up right. I put barrier blocks on that just in case. Yeah, I gotta clear my... Make anything that was spawnable wasn't spawnable. Alright, clear my inventory. Oh, I don't put crap in there anymore. Well, I guess this one's gonna be longer then. Oh, what did you do? That's weird. Oh, you didn't paste it at the right spot. That's why. Yeah, it needed to be one over. Yep. I just undo that. But it also, we also lost a piece over here for some reason. Axe in here. Oh my god, really? Oh, it's guaranteed that I'm in the middle of something, somebody's gonna call me. I guess I'll just like copy a few of these over. That looks accurate. Huh. Copy this. Each one I'm gonna copy a little less of it. As we get higher, we're gonna risk bumping into the one above it. So. That one isn't too bad. These can probably get copied up a little bit further. I want just to patch them. these up some more.
Unfortunately, let me get these half slabs. Screw it all up. choice. We kind of have to have it attached to something. Actually, you know what? I should do from the top. looking good. That yeah, looks good. Uh, so I'm going to copy a copy from this one. one right here down to the right before the next one. Right there. And on that one. Go to the next one that would be And off of it. Ah, exactly what I was hoping. Perfect. And I just go down to the next one. Next four one would be. Okay, there. sorry about that. Oh, you're good. This is the one disadvantage of uh, playing tech support for home clients. Is uh, I get phone calls about, uh, oh, I see what you're doing now. You're uh, fixing those so they will actually anchor to connect to something. Yep. Yeah, so then you'll need to... So then actually it's probably gonna be easier if you copy the whole thing over the other side. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, I copied it over mainly just to see what it was gonna look like. You know, with both of them. What I'm gonna do is actually do this. That way I know where it ends. <laughs> That way I can actually see where it ends. And this this one right here. 
So do you want me to leave the gap then? Fuck gap. What I, I just started. Did. Yeah, you not you nuked the stairs in between. Was that intentional? Oh yeah, I think I find out. I think this is the next four one, right? Sure. That's not the next one. No, that is the next four one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because they have to anchor. you just copy and paste what you have down it's got to line up i realize that but if it lines up where before so like if you copy from this one here where it's four down to probably the next one here which would be four also Yeah, but look at the angle on it. Yeah, I noticed that your something is. Oh, I see what you do. I don't think that's it either. No, you. It's got to be one or the other for it to connect, though. Either it needs to come up one more and be there. I think this is the next four one right here. It's uh, where it is right now. See, the problem is you start differently than you continue. So you have a three block, then you have, you know, it means three slab, and then you have two, and then you have three, and then you have three. So your pattern's not consistent. You, you threw off my pattern. I think you're right. When you started trying to make it connect. I think I see the solution. Is we can just, yeah, you can world out of that so it doesn't connect. Well, this one right here, I'm gonna connect, it's like hovering. But I guess that's what we're gonna have to do with. What do you mean is hover what's hovering? Not connecting. Oh. Because you need to push it one further over. Yeah, because it's a three pattern. Yeah, the the pro the problem is that the um Can we do another number instead of three? Uh, six. Do every six.
Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you decide on a number. So. If you start there, okay? Then that's that's the bottom of one. You know what? Who says that they have to be? They have to be at exactly three. And three seemed a little bit tight to me, honestly. What if we move the next one one more over? So see that this next one that you have here? The second one? What if you moved it one uh, one south? That would work. Okay, now how many spaces do you have in between those? Oh, you never mind, never mind, never mind. You screwed me up here with this. Because you were trying to make it. Fit your pattern. And so that is out of mine. What I try to do here... what I'm saying so take this one out okay take the next one out and did you cut is the next one to the seventh no or is it yeah it is no it isn't actually that's five right yeah I think that one, well, wait. No, because every seven is not going to work. Not with it, not with the block pattern that I have going. What about every six? Um, hold on. So you have the one here, right? Yeah. And, um, Every five looks like it might work. No. Hold on. I'll go ahead and remove cables.
Uh, you could do every four. You could just skip three in between. Three, four, and that but works. Four. No, it does. It absolutely does. Perfect. All right, let's do every four then. <laughs> Back fifty down. God, that looks way better. That looks like it'll work. For sure. What I do. I'm going to copy this. I guess, like, get the okay. next. Now get the next one ready. Uh, yeah, you got the next one ready. Okay, so I'm gonna copy it from here. Here. And on. Copy. Stand on this one. Okay. That work? Looks good so far, yeah. I'm gonna stand on top of this one. Paste that. Nope. Did Broke I miss it. it. Yeah, you needed one more. So hit undo on that. Oh, I needed to stand on. Although, hold on, because that no longer lines up going further down. It's one off at the top. Eh, uh, we'll deal with it. Oh, I see what you're getting at. Okay. On. So, I mean... This should be a half slab. Should be a full one. Okay, so that's where I went wrong then. Copy this. Copy this. This. Copy. And on top of this. Okay. But. Grab. 
Oh, I see. I see what's. Oh, the barrier is on here. That's the stuff. It's still off somewhere. No, oh, it's off right here. Yeah, okay, that's where it's off, right there. Yeah, that one's too wide. I'm just gonna remove all of this. All the way down to... All that. That way we only copy this. That's there. What I'm gonna do, copy here. Get on top of one of the four. That should light up. Yes. And then it, we need iron bars. Right there, yeah. Who knew building a suspension bridge would be so difficult? Why don't you go and copy more and I'll, um... This time, like this time I'm gonna copy this. 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 Off of this. All the way down to the bottom. This one. That should. One, two, three. That looks right. Same thing. That looks right. That's starting to look like a bridge. <laughs> look up after a while and wow, yeah. We'll go ahead and get rid of this slide over here. And copy it. Minus air thing. This is looking pretty good. Throw my phone. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, way better. I didn't do the bottom part of your uh, things. I just basically put the top in to make sure they were gonna line up. I figured.
Ah, I keep bumping my mic. Professionalism. That. Down. At 24 down. Almost down to the. Seven down. Almost to the deck there. Aiming at these tiny little little things is always a pain. Yeah, that's why I was using World Edit to fill the main. Let's see, where are we at? Uh, I, I think we can stream for a little while longer. At least try to copy this over to the other side. Do you have any exciting plans for tonight other than trying to work on stuff? Just working on stuff. <laughs> Riveting plans, let me tell you. Yes, I know. do, I'm going to copy the rest of this one. That's a four one. So I'm just going to kind of step down here. And actually take a look at this here at the bottom, see what you think. Whether I should put a stair or a slab. So on the one here that's on the, that's hitting the uh, support. Do a slab. Yeah, or, yeah, or... So I put a stair going in this way because of the wall on the side. Do that. Let's see if you like a full brick there instead. So look at it from the side on that. Uh, full brick might work better. Okay. Copy that here. Copy. Now I gotta do a bunch of paste. Paste. Perfect. Almost like we knew what the hell we were doing. Almost. Not quite, though.
And there you go. There we go. Now we can copy this like four times. Exactly. All right. Have a good one, Neon. We're going to be finishing up here soon ourselves. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy from here. <clears throat> here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stand. Middle here. Would be the easiest. Yeah, I would literally stand like right between the lines. Copy. Flip. Foul. Flip. Flip east, yeah. Paste. it on the sides here yeah I'll do the attach if you want to do the other two uh, yeah. god piece That looks good. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna do another copy. Um, I'm gonna stand a reference point here. Place where you were. Copy. That way, I know exactly where I am in reference. I would do a south. By the way, did you ever listen to the, the 90s band Hum, H-U-M? Really listen to them? Yeah, I was thinking uh, last night that I should give you a couple videos of them. Oh, okay. You, you, you seem to like and, other, and play other 90s music that has maybe not the exact same sound, but kind of a vaguely similar sound and so I figured that you might like them oh yeah that's right I gotta get rid of this off of this Yeah, they were basically another 90s alternative band, kind of from uh, kind of the same era as grunge. Oh, gotcha. Although I don't really kind of I don't really consider them to be a grunge band per se. You know, like they had the heavy distorted guitars, but I I wouldn't lump them in this. I wouldn't categorize them with like Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. Not enough mustache. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think my definition of grunge really, like, I wouldn't consider Bush to be a grunge band, but it seems like other people do. You know, like, they're too, to me, they're too British to be grunge. Is there ever things that you're on? Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh. I mean, I love that song. It's a great song. I don't think but so. It's not, you know, it's not grunge. Oh. But ironically enough, I think um, Hum's most successful song was being in a Cadillac commercial. Cadillac commercial. Yeah, they had they had some airplay on MTV, but. 
not like a ton of it. You know, they, they were definitely a, one of the 120 minutes bands. Oh, yeah. All right. Out to the table. I'm gonna do. Actually, going to copy here. Ah, derp. I copy from the top. Yeah. Copy from here. So, are we doing cables into the middle also, or no? Yes, we are. Um, but I don't think we're going to get to that today. Okay. But that is the plan. That is the plan. Okay. That is indeed the plan. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and copy right about here. Dude, the the iron beam supports really, or the iron bar um, cables really pull together. Oh yeah, they really do. But copy this to the other side. Good man. Looks like it did. Get matched up. Yep. Yep, we got it. Nice. Now I just gotta do the side thingies. The anchors. That's it. Here. Other side here. There. Not quite done. We're almost done for today. There.
That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Now all we gotta do is the middle, but I'm, I think we're gonna save that for a different stream. We're already over three hours now, so... Yeah! A lot of work. A lot of work today. But... Definitely looks good so far. This middle part's gonna be a challenge. Uh, once we finish it, it's going to be looking looking really good. I may actually put this up for download. I'd actually put this bridge up for download. I think we should offer it. Yeah, that would That's be cool. Schematic. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, it's like a schematic. Anybody who wants to put it in their world. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. So I think... I think that's where we're going to end things. Appreciate everybody coming out. Thanks for joining us. We're going to be back on Saturday. I'll probably do some uh, world edit stuff with that. I'll pull up the stream card here. Hope you all have a great day. And uh, yeah, tune in on Saturday, 7pm. We'll see you then. Take it easy.